take up one big piece of board and when him done broke it up on me in my, in my back left right hand me talk about artists who want to love and say we meet every day when we see the artists and we see the people are running down and people are say them love this man the man take the board and lick me straight right back through the, the iron gate right through the gate <laughs> I'm in a Spanian. Hard them said it. Hard while I do road. We set the links and the code. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you get all notifications. I'm in mean, my chest with it, you know? I say, girl, for you now, give me no ray, ray, ray. You can't come on the studio. I said, Jesus. Let them tell them my father come from Torres and him live around the corner. I'm not telling him these things. Enough. Right now, when my father hear him go to say me wicked. Because I'm not tell him nothing. And I remember my call the producer who owned the studio and I saw me have to end up a complaint because I'm a person, things will happen to me. I'm a keep it in, I'm a keep it in, I'm a keep it in. So at this time, by the time I call the producer, the pro I don't know what happened to him. Then they say I'm the bad boy and the ear and all these things and ray, ray, ray. But I just, I just tell him some of the least. Some of the least, you know? Oh, when when we started and 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 and, and, and the thing is like everything. When we listen to um Tanya Stevens interview, everything is like it's, everything is just, it's like a nightmare for me because it is not easy to say what I'm about to say because you know when you want to say something for years and somebody said for them thing and yeah say. Oh my God! It's like you know things ever happen to you in a life where you feel like say you alone, but when people talk, you say, "But Jesus have mercy, I know you alone," you know. So that's basically what happened wow. when me hear the story because mine is totally different. You know? My one is my one is a is a my one is is life and death. Right now at this point, if me even talk right or so. I might have to start get bodyguard or something. I don't know. It depends, you know? So, you know, everybody know my I've been in the music business for years now. I'm not get to the point because um, we're kind of like a traffic now still, so I kind of can't not sound like I'm moving. So, you know, I've been in the business for a couple of years. I started out um at 16 year old. When I started out, I I was the youngest at the time. Um, Then comes Patra. Then Patra becomes the youngest. Um, you know, so I mean, coming out of high school, I go straight. I'm not even go six farm because the way I'm anxious, I just want to go to music. I want to go to music. So I run out of school and I just head straight into the music business. I start going to the studio and I start go, you know. But <clears throat> one of my first disappointments was when I started to go to the first studio in Tower Hill. The security guard, because it will happen to me now. I always hear about people have to sleep with people and sex and all these things to bus. So I was already aware. I came out. I, I came out of school and going to studio with expectation, and and, and 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 I made up my mind that I'm gonna defend myself if if I buck up on people like those. So, as for me, I was very defensive when somebody approached me about trying to sleep with me. For, you know in the music or try for you know whatever I'm, I'm gonna try but try to protect myself so I was very protective of myself anyway I remember you I started going to a studio in Tower Hill and there was this tall security guard he was a security guard for the studio and he was he was asking me to sleep with him for months and months and and and, and, and I, 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 I was very defensive and I remember going there one day Cause this guy's tall and thick and tramped in you know, the car, you know, security car is a security and that's a bad area. And I remember because I keep being defensive, him start lock me out and lock the gate now. I say, no, come into the studio. And you know what the guy did one day when I come there? The guy took off him big boat, the boat looked like him. I kind of feel what the woman I go through and I kind of understand now because a lot of people link me from the other day and I tell me, say, hold up, woman have things but them afraid to talk and it started upset me and make me feel like me don't know if I got dig up and snare or I got dig up what but you know 
He said, like me, I said, no, so I'm going to have a talk because it that hurt me not sleep. I tell her the truth, I'm not sleep because it's like me, I say, oh my God, like, you know, it's like a nightmare because it make me relive it. Me, I relive something where me never talk about. So I'm telling about that to start. So me been going to studio when I book up on producers and people where they say them like me. But me ignore me. As I tell you them, when it comes to the sexual harassment, I was very defensive. And um, I was I try not to dress certain way. Although people used to say, oh, you're sexy, you dress like in a shotgun. I try. If I know I'm stay late at studio, I put on long clothes and all these things. That's why the other day when a lot of people were saying, oh, coffee look like she's a lesbian and all these things. Me kind of did sit down. I told a lot of people, say, me know why coffee dressed that way there. Me know why she dressed that way there. She doesn't want to look like one of the man them and she don't want to be harassed. I tell a lot of people that, but people don't listen to me because of, of things that I go through. You understand? And study the business. So when they say coffee dressed that way that no people assume say, oh she a lesbian. No. Me kinda know that she have to just look a tomboy-ish and try to protect herself. You understand me? I try to say. So moving on now. Me did it when I say top producer now. Did it with them wife and sitting and still tell me say them want to sleep with me. And me, me, me get defensive. Me not do that. Me not do it. Me, me, me said, no, you're crazy, ray, 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 whatever. Then them son. Want to sleep with me? Then Mister to them said, "No man, we not rich people. We not want poor me. That time I look a poor girl. I come from Portmore and I'm look a one clothes. If me no wash pan Saturdays, me not have no clothes to come out Monday morning. So me can't afford. If you a rich man pitting on a rich man that want to sleep with me, and then when I look, me look like me had stress out myself. So I was very protective." Of my sexual part of my body, you know. So that's why I don't find out. So with Macadam, no people not really help me. No bag of artists not do no song with me. Them drag me down. Them this them that. Me not going to international level. So they make me start the pre in my head now and I say, oh, most of the time when them help them female, like them have to sleep with them. I remember artists. Me I talk about artists. I talk about like two years ago. Me look for artists and say, do a song with me. Huh? Them say, boy, me I tell you the truth. You have to give me a look a pussy. You understand? Sorry, my language, man, alive, but. I just, I just try to tell them some little things Then I get to the point The serious part of what has been affecting me And I kind of glad Tanya come out So I find a little strength When I can talk about my own So I now come over here So I tell them to say Nobody raped me or nobody this or nobody that But my one was very drastic My one is very Right now I can come out for the live today And I don't know what happened to me But I have to talk because I never talk Because I was paid not to talk that's how serious it is. I was paid not to talk. So right now, me walk with all my rags. See my rag, yeah? Me don't know if I'm going to cry because I think I've gained strength and I get strong since I've been bullied all over the net. People disagree. People don't know what I got you. No, people don't know what I got you. Not that music, yeah? Anyway, me I skip over enough of the things then because I don't want it sound drawn out. Come on, come off quick. Being in the music business, I always try to be independent. Anybody know about Capricorns? Capricorns will always try to make money and be independent. So my way to survive in the business and not being abused that I have to sleep with somebody to get money, um, I used to I go, I go, I go dub plate. So during this journey, during this journey of hustling my dub plate, um, you know, them tended the artists, them big, you know, when I'm a boss, you know, big up Capitan. Capitan was always there for me. Very decent man, I can't tell you people. So me can look up to Cape Town. That man, the very good man, Professor Nuts. Me have artists and me can big up. And every one of them terrible. You understand? Me go with Professor Nuts for days on the road and he was a very respectable person. And I, I sat around Cape Town house a lot and he was very respected. Right? Um so during them time when I did the dub plate, them Cape Town, them used to give me free dub. We get dub plate from Wolipa artists. So by this time you have artists them days, enough of them not get along, you know? Enough of them not get along. So, one of the artists them, when me I beg him double plate, he never can give me a double plate yet. But when they go to the next artist, me get it. So, me mostly, so what happened, um, the artist when I really want to give me the double plate, I really feel student, I hang out. The reason why I hang out at that student is because the producer, the producer was very respectable to me, and the owner for that student, me love him and everything, and he used to take care of me. Even him, I got vexed with me when I talk to them because him, him begged me not to say nothing, you know? Anyway, me, me, I met my double plate them, and I met my double plate them, and these two artists, them not get along, none at all. So I was in between the both of them. I was in between the both of them 
And I remember one day I went to the, the other studio, not the one that me always hang out with the artist when I nah, give me a double play. But come always have to go to other places. This artist not giving me a double play, they never mean to me. But me still at the studio because of the producer. And I love the producer. So I remember now me go to the studio, the other studio now. And they round there with the other artists. But they were you know, every time through the two to the two artists them not get along. Enough artists not get along them time. They whole the artists in friction. So me did it now and one of the students me, me I get some dub plate from the artist and me I said, John no, me can't eat me look a food weekend and so me, me get me look a dub them now and me, me chat out chat out and hold me look a bus and uh, them time I want to email song to people we just we have to get them on CD and sound man we have to send them to them or me never remember how it reach and me well gone my student now because me I said this on me hang out every year. I gone to the studio now, which part the artist there. When I really give me no dub, but me and the producer are good and I this on my record and they show me like a good love. Otherwise, from not giving me dub. So I head out now and say, I gone to the studio now, gone, gone, hang out and, 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 um, and do what I have to do. But when I walk into the studio, I see some whole heap of tough face man because you know, they know them tell the artists have them entourage. I don't even know. Artists have 20 men around them and whole heap of entourage. So I see this big old entourage with a man that look at me like I do something wrong. So I say, what will I do? About 20 men in the studio ever full up a man. I see the whole of the man that look at me weird and which part of the studio there one big old gate, you know, them high gate that will make out the high hand. And I just see gate locked behind me, plop. And I say, Walk one. So sent on the artist walk out. Hey girl, they run a studio. Run our studio, I deal with artists. Women are like and you call up my name and I mean I say, what you talk about? Me just me go a dub plate, me go look. And me beg a dub plate all the while they don't want to give me something understand better. The artist never want you know what I say, don't know what the artist do. <laughs> oh god. I just broke on the board. Why am I going? I did big old 20 man them stand up there. I said, why is that girl? How she be getting? I got this. I share this, yo. I should go chat with the next all this girl argument. I said, I couldn't believe it. I 20 more man stand up there watching man take the board. I beat me up and broke on the board for me. I couldn't do a run when I run. <laughs> Where's my run? Me see the nearest police station. Oh, my run going there. One of the wickedest things happened to me when my run going at the police station. The, the superintendent and the next artist. Uncle. Jesus Christ. When me see the make the complaint, the man said, be a rare, rare uncle. You have to lock him up. I said, Lord Jesus. I'm not going to mix up this a bit in that. I said, what I'm looking to before, but I'm bored, we bored, broke up all now. I still have the market on my back. I don't talk, I never talk. And then I start fret now because the people where I know we do my things. But I just say, me understand, I tell you, I said, fear one might be that type of abuse, but I abuse this same way. Like, I did feel so abused, 20 strong man turn up there and watch the artist beat me up. And the whole of the man, I laugh like, 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 you know, like, me and a body, like, and them telling them, I'm not, I'm not career yet, I'm not boss or nothing. So, so what me to tell myself is I'm not nah, about the music. So what me to tell myself is I'm done with it. And then now, mm -hmm. Mama said, I um, me, me go to the station now and go book up on the inspector. When I book up on the inspector, the next artist, uncle, if the inspector hear him, because I, or the superintendent, they know what. If you hear this alive, I'm gonna say, Yes, me tell them to lock him up. And but by the time them say, They gonna lock him up, me feel bad because they, they, they tell the artist manager, me love him because the, the manager take care of me without him and look me up. That the man not do nothing, no, no harm to me. The, the manager is such a nice person. So by this time, in the evening, when I go home, the manager called me. I said to myself, please, me I beg your number, they said nothing. And me go send some money, come give. And it's not even the money that me even accept the apology. 
is the fact that me never bust yet and me don't nobody and and that situation would have been like maybe me that lose my life me don't know me don't know me still gonna lose it no because when them hear them are gonna say but if you tell her not to talk and we give her money or this or that or whatever but through me get to all now and nobody no business about me and music and the, the same artist me say talk to me enough time the artist that talk to me see me and like me I say him no member what he do to me he me, me I run joke and say to him say do one song with me and I know he no look for me for years me I say that I mean, I say if I if do that for apology or something, nothing. That means that the person that the person that hate me or something because you could never beat up somebody after me, you know so I look at double plate hustling me I do and so me live because me want to survive till my career take off. And you never give me one yet. Me no cure me beg the artist are the biggest thing at that time. And me beg you a double plate and you don't never give me. And me go to a next man now and the man give it to me. And you know in other me don't know where, where your man them are, your, 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 the man them were par with you. Come say to you about a look a poor girl like me. I look a poor girl like me at that time. Me and no body. Me and no body, me just come as two that try to look a bus. And me don't know what I'm gonna say to you for you to take a board and broke it up on me. And for years me walk with that from my brain and from my head. And me, me does not know how and me see her talk to me, me see the artist talk to me. Me see people love me. Me, me not talk about the normal artist. Me not talk about the normal me talk about artists where I met millions every day, every year, every hour where people love. You understand? And the manager called me now and said, The more give me some money, and if it just relax, I'm a good, I'm a good doctor, I'm a good this, I'm a good that. And I'm not tell my mother, I'm not tell nobody, I'm not tell my parents, I'm not tell nobody, I'm just still, because I'm telling my mother they leave gone a foreign anyway. And I'm kind of on my own still, you know? you know. And when the manager called me, I couldn't, I couldn't. Me couldn't press the charge because that the manager there somebody went help me out a lot. Any problem I have them time and, and make me escape a lot of other stuff, you know. So me accept the money. Me not go tell a lie. Me accept the money, and I remember me said to myself, say them time I have one something and what not. And me tell myself, say me go buy one big what not with the money. Cause I told the money enough. I'm going to buy one big double side whatnot and put it in my house and put it in front of me and said, This is going to remind me every day. And I'm really kind of sorry me to do that because every time I look on it, I cry because I say, Man, can I wicked so? Oh, you feel tech board and beat me so in front of everybody at the studio. I run through the gate, I run through the gate, I run, I don't know how I'm not dead. I know me no home is still alive. God no. You understand? So me just are saying, I whole heap of things we go through as women in the business and me not really come up to stay as long because me know them are gonna drag me and people gonna drag me, but me just try to say when me hear about whatever people are go through, me I try to make people know say me my thing them not normal. I, what they are saying I go do one documentary because the things that when me go through, I want different type of something. Me not say people not try to say right sex or whatever, but me, me as me tell you now, me come in, me go into the business with a shield, like me, me go in there with that intention say nobody. Now I go force me for have no sex, you know, and then I travel par with people where you know good to me and you know and treat me with respect, you know. So I start to par with a lot of different people where show me a lot of respect. And what me I travel telling is that this was one of the journey them boy throw shoes in my chest. Me go to studio, them I tell me say people run me out of them studio, you know, you know, whole heap of things, whole heap of things. It's been and, and and right now me just feel like sometimes I just feel like the artist will just address it to me and say, Boy, you know, say me the kinda be a big man about that and say no say me the feel fuck up because me shouldn't really take no board and beat you up like that because you know, me don't know if I'm not feel like I eat that right now because twenty and the twenty man then when they turn up they're like I wanna do that, I wanna make that happen like when me do more than me just go go look dub plate and me go get the dub plate and come back happy. 
and you not give me no dub plate and I get beaten for that because I have to stay neutral I can't stay between two men or three men or four men if me if you not if them not if them not talk me have to stay neutral in in between everybody so just that middle that try to stay neutral because me no boss me no reach no way me can't me not call the name me not call the name me not call the name because me reach half a journey in my life and me want to finish it so what I try to say is, I just make you know, and I just make Tanya know, say, you're not alone, darling. I got you to, it might be a different way, but I got you to. I may have a tank, got a few of my friends and a couple of people who take care of me, and never been abusive. I got you to with a couple of people, where them just verbally abuse me, and them disrespect me, and them try for you know? Anyways, um, I may go on my journey. I um, head to the airport. Um, on a good note, I'm still alive. I'm still here. My career end up took off. Um, yeah, and then, you know, I'm going to have drama too. You know, funny enough, when my career took off, me and the same artist end up on a big show in America. And you know what that artist did? Trying to get me to come to his room to sleep with him. And I was like, like, seriously. After you take big boy beat me up, you really think that me are gonna hotel room and sleep with them? That's all daring. It, you know, anyway, me love you guys, you know. Um, Daddy Reds and the whole family over there, big up, you know. Um, me know everybody was expecting to hear a different type of topic, but I mean, this was one of my most abusive situations I've ever been through. In this music business, everything that's why I see when people come for the net and them a drag me and me this and me that and me, 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 me go through worse. So, what else can you guys do to me to feel let me feel anyway, you know? Um, but in the morning, big up some of the people I miss upon the live, yeah, diverse, big up daddy reds. Yeah, that's the rest. Big up. Um, me don't have a phone like a ring and nobody gonna say, Ray, Ray, where I dig up this and dig up that for because you never talk about it. But me just want to get it off of my chest. Me just want to get it off of my chest and say, The artist when they take the board and beat me up, me love you the same way. Enough love. Me, me, me get over it in a way. Me, me, I dig up in my brain now. But not eat nothing. Everything blessed. And not because I come and I talk about it now. I got dig up nothing on a police station and a problem. Nothing. I just uh, met the people them know say part of my journey wasn't easy also. You understand? Big up Dan Mafia, big up yourself. When I go to you them, big up yourself, Mafia. Mafia was one of them with the around me and saved me through my journey, you know? Where I was one of them I know a lot of things I'm go through. <sighs> I remember one day Unicorn may his soul rest in peace. The unicorn get a little bit aggressive with me one day many my argue and then tell me if you could suck me mother left right and center and I done my feather for defend it for me, you know? So me have some people will defend me sometimes, so I have to give thanks to them and big respect. Anyway, bye guys. Um me know me know what got the internet I got drag right left so I'm used to it. But anyway, me not care. I'm gonna be winding up my little body. Winding up myself and full join myself. Alright, love you guys, enough love and thank you guys. Remember to follow me though, follow me on Instagram and um and TikTok. Just follow me guys. Um you know my journey, my journey hasn't been it, it, it wasn't an easy one. I was still not, it's still not easy. I'm still here and I'm still doing what I have to do. So I wanna say enough love to those who stick out with me. Um for the for, for quite a while and um and still is there with me all right love you guys somebody somebody should turn off the thing then but me not worry about who has said nothing from who has said this me just wanting to know say me get this off of my chest 
my career still me, after, after that couple of years after me, me become one of the biggest artists them could have stand up beside every artist and perform and um me want to big up the artist this is the artist that me get the beat now over him know himself because I told him I told him the artist where, 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 where I told the artist you know because me the, me the, I, I think I owe that artist to tell him because I was trying to ask him if when I was around there if we had discussed that other artist and I said no nothing like that and very 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 so um, I'm ever still big up the artist there because the artist there was one of them people that helped me during my journey to keep me monetary with my little dub play program you know big up to the artist them where yeah, just to give me a little free dub and make us speak with the, pro with the sound man them. Enough love. I love them, you know. Alright, so love you guys. My favorite watch the road. Come back on me and drop. So that's why I'm not even look. I look I'm not looking at the camera too much up on the road. Alright. Who call me? But you say you still going to marry me? Where is the divers? Oh, one of the best. Okay. Alright, sweetheart. Big up divers. Love you, my sis. And um, big up to everybody. Alright? Later guys. Enough love. Every song with up chen, yang. I'm gonna spend yang. Hard while I do road. We set the links and the code. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to click the notification bell. So you get all notifications. That's better!